Hello, everybody. Are you ready to learn about vintage lingerie? All right, well, we're going to have a brief introduction about vintage lingerie and whatever else writes up our collective behinds. And it's going to change soon. There it is. All right, so we have to look at my grandma. This is my inspiration. We've got to start off with her. She was always glamorous. Wherever she went, she looked like a Hollywood movie star. Uh, I mean, look at her. Even at the pool, she has her hair all curled up and uh, her makeup on. And it is making a comeback. Thanks to Mad Men, we're uh, experiencing the awesomeness of uh, the 60s lingerie and style. Beyonce bringing back the uh, granny panties and girdles in her 50s style um, vi um, video. So why buy vintage? Why not just go to the department store and buy something? Vintage lingerie is by far superior than anything they can buy in today's market. Um, the quality and attention to detail is wonderful. Plus it's hot. Where can you buy that? Um, go to your local thrift shop. I guarantee you're gonna be the only one in the lingerie department. <laughs> Not only can you buy some great vintage finds there, but you're also supporting a great organization. Estate sales, great place to find new old stock. Now what is that? It is uh, something that still has the tags on it, never been worn before. Little old lady just uh, put it in the drawer back in the 1950s and forgot all about it. And if you are so bold, go to the source. Ask the little old lady next door. Just be like, psst, hey. Can I see your underwear? Is that cool? All right, so you've been to the thrift shops. You've been to the estate sales. You've maybe asked the little old lady next door. And you found something awesome. But how do you know it's actually vintage? The style looks vintage, but how do you know? Check your labels. Um, this is a great way to date your garment. Um, if you're not familiar with labels, there's a great website called Vintage Fashion Guild. They have a label resource that will help you date any type of garment that you have. Also look for the union label. Now this is probably going to be underneath your manufacturing label or sometime somewhere on the seam of your garment. And there are different union labels for different eras and this is definitely going to help you date your garment. This is a prime example of something to look out for. This was a eBay listing. She listed it as a 1950s half slip. If you look at the label, there's Spanish on it. They didn't do this until 1990s, so this is not a 50s label. Um, wash it. How do you wash it? They recommend doing it in warm water, hand washing it. If you're lazy like me, put it in a lingerie bag and put it in the gentle cycle of your washing machine. Now I do get some emails from guys asking, you know, I want to buy my girlfriend something. I have no idea what her size is. Get that favorite dress out of her, uh, out of her closet and measure the bust and the hips and the waist and you'll have her size. Does everybody remember Ava Gabor, Green Acres, all those Penoir sets that she walked around in? <laughs> Lucianne was one of the designers. If you ever find something from Lucianne, pick it up. She is highly collectible. Uh, Jewel Park of Beverly Hills. She started in the 1920s. Everything was custom made. Not one piece was the same. And uh, she also did the infamous slip for Elizabeth Taylor, Butterfield 8. Everybody remember that? All right. This is my friend Emily showing you that girdles and granny panties are indeed hot. And ladies... These vintage girdles will put your Spanx to shame. I promise. You'll never go back. This is my really good friend, Wink. She is my partner in crime with thrift sailing and estate sales. And she is rocking it in the vintage lingerie for her pinup shoot. Just hot, yes, yeah. Burlesque dancers, they are always looking for vintage lingerie for their shows. And I've had the great privilege of working with uh, some burlesque dancers in Los Angeles, which is up there on the left, and the Cupcake Cabaret in Fort Collins, which is over on the right. You don't have to be a pinup model or a burlesque dancer to enjoy vintage lingerie. Spice up your wardrobe. I'm, I'm wearing a vintage uh, 1950s slip as a dress. You can wear it with boots. Do tap panties as shorts with some... <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so I'm going to leave you guys with Mae West. And she said it best when she said, cultivate your curves. They may be dangerous, but they won't be avoided. Thanks, you guys.